M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. VGC N76 and the Bofen BTEC model have added KISS TNC. KISS actually stands for Keep It Simple, but it's a TNC device sending data over the radio waves, position and messages, location. So how are we gonna upgrade the firmware software to our N76? Open up your app, connect in the normal way, go to your settings cog just here, click it, then go down and look for firmware version out. I've added it, it's 7.9 now. Click it and it'll probably say no updates available, but now tap the screen 10 times. I'm just gonna reach over, you can see my phone here on the floor or on the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it will check and it looks like they've added, they've added a new update, which is 7.10. So it says here, if there's any little bugs, Support KISS protocol, cannot connect to HT at the same time. Ah, well that'll be very handy because the problem we, we've been having is that you had to connect um, one at a time. So you had to connect the app or APRS Droid separately. So when you watch the rest of my video, keep that in mind because, and I will test this because the video shows that you had to do this separately. So we're gonna click download Then click start. And unfortunately it doesn't work on the N7500, only the 76 and the BTEC models. Give that a few minutes to load. Data transfer complete, click okay. Just wait for that to complete. You'll hear the radio beep a couple of times. I recommend you fully charge the radio. So it's only taken what, three, four minutes? Okay, click OK. It now says we're up to 7.10. I know it doesn't show it here, but it says that we are. So, to make sure, I'm going to reboot it. Reboot everything just to make sure. So we're connected to the radio in the normal way. We can control everything. We've selected, if you go to APRS, if you want to create the channel, double click. We'll hold your finger on it. Edit, and you'll see that it's just 144. 800 in the USA, I think it's 900 uh, and then no settings no tones nothing and that's your APRS channel set up Just click save and um, you can see it's on the a band there Okay, so now the n76 has the latest firmware. Let's download the APRS droid app That you can see on the right hand side on my Android phone. I will be making a separate video on a iPhone using APRS Pro. I've got my Android phone linked to my PC using Visor. This is a free program, download it, connect your phone, enable debugging, and you can put your phone on the screen of your Windows PC. And I believe it will work on a Mac as well. So there's the app, open it. We're gonna to need to configure, go to the three dots there and go to preferences and start at the top. So we've got my call sign in there. Then you put your SSID beneath. We just chose nine for now, mobile station, just for testing. Configuration, I haven't changed APRS Digipath. Configuration or connection preferences just here. Tap that. And we've selected, I didn't change the top one, client mode. Click that, that's ticked. Connection type, we've got your Bluetooth. Just re -tap, reselect it. TNC Bluetooth device is N76. So every time you select, you just reselect and it closes that window. Now of course you have to pair your device, so you just swipe down Hold your finger on Bluetooth. Hopefully we're doing that now. And then search and add and it will find VRN76. I believe the BTEC is a, a different, it will show up with a different name, but it's the same connection. Just click done. Reopen APRS Droid. Just swipe up, should still be there. 
there it is and you can double check to see if you're connected via Bluetooth because at the bottom here you can click Bluetooth settings and it will show it and go back if you're asteroid and if you click here TNC Bluetooth device it will show up and if you haven't yet selected it select it now so we're all connected and it's so important that you that the HT app is not connected and not Bluetooth connected so disc make sure that's disconnected you know just while you're using APRS otherwise connect back and use the radio as normal so if we go back we're connected now I, I do have an antenna connected to the radio that is on my roof so it's picking up all the APRS packets if you've never heard of APRS before it stands for automatic packet reporting system and it's it, it is connected to the internet but it doesn't have to be there's an op, it's also off grid and you have digipeters around the world retransmitting your location and short messages position data etc and it's fascinating but you do need to be in range of one of those stations otherwise it can just use the internet and you can check there is a, a built-in map to the app so if I click the map up here you'll see APRS FI and we can uh, zoom out and look at other stations I am receiving that station there MW3SAG I just saw that so if we go back now to get this working you're going to go see the way it says stop tracking you're going to go start tracking okay and if it's working it will say it and you can see here I, and it I believe it gave out my position there M0FXB-9 uh, which will show up on APRS FI remember this is a 160 170 pound dual band radio that can be controlled with an app act as a digipeter has built in GPS uh, it, it's a fantastic little device and the app it just works so well if you you know if you look at the HT app that we were on just now that one there and configuring your different memory channels etc just check it out it's excellent and it will even work the app will even work without a radio um, of course then you are completely internet but you know I just think it's a fantastic little device yes you've got the base model N7500 it can do GPS ETC but it's reliant on its mobile phone to do that where the VGC N76 they've built it all in and on the left here is the the BTEC version I'll put a link in but you can see the price $164 so it's similar price and uh, I don't know what the availability is in the USA in the USA but yeah identical but it's called BTEC okay and I'll just quick reminder on this app, which is the APRS Pro for your iPhone, which is the next video I'm going to make. So we're tracking, we can send position. You, heard, you could hear the radio and see the radio transmitting there. It's receiving packets as well. So we are receiving real, this is not internet, we are receiving real radio packets here via radio airwaves. As you can see in the log. I'll just show you another thing while I'm here. If you have a problem pairing your your device with your phone, just hit the green, then go down until you see the word pairing. That's it. And then select it and it puts it into pairing mode. Okay, and that works for the app is for the HT app as well. So let's try something else. In the background you can see my FT5 which is on the APRS UK frequency 144800. I think in the USA is it 900 so all we do is just hit beacon TX we've we've enabled all the APRS settings so we go beacon so F menu then beacon TX and and you'll see that it's received by my radio I know they're right next to each other but we've got the antenna connected it's receiving packets from the world and I'm not going to turn on the internet side but if we turned on the internet side on the app so I've not tried to do preferences and connection here it's just I'm just really just looking now connection protocol yeah you definitely remember to select that that's one I forgot to say connection protocol kiss TNC now if you turn on the internet then I've got a feeling you'd effectively disconnect the Bluetooth from the device 
So any more tips from anyone, connection type here, you can see Bluetooth and that is under connection login. You can use a cable, I've not tried that. Different channels there, I'm not, not messed with that. And there's your Bluetooth. So I think just give it a go. Let's just look at the map again, go back. Look at these tabs at the top. So you hit APRS Droid, you get this, that's me, then it's receiving people and you can tap them. And can we reply straight from here? Possibly, but if I double tip, double tap, look, it takes me straight to the map. Which is great fun. And if I go back, back again. And uh, let's do as me. <laughs> going to show my location and my details that's my FT5 you add messages you decide what it's going to say go back oh too far there's a there's a thing I'm just tapping everything now look street map and look show log show map show hub all the things we're selecting is there in a list if you want it thanks for watching my channel give it a go i think 160 pound what excellent excellent device bye for now so thanks for watching and in the next video we'll be testing the iphone version which is called aprs pro deluxe which i'm brand new to that's my iphone and also we'll be testing if we can connect with the app, the HT app and APRS Droid, all this app at the same time. Bye for now. Thanks for watching 7.3. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and buy me a coffee.